charges. The Kentucky Press Association is reacting to the Capitol Gazette attack and is increasingly concerned at how many public shootings are taking place. LEX 18's Alexa Helwig spoke with an editor at the association and to a future journalist today. She has their responses to the attack to continue our coverage of the big story at six. The tragic shooting at the Capitol Gazette yesterday hits close to home for news outlets across the country. We came here today to the Kentucky Press Association where they talked about the impact of this situation and how we can prevent future tragedies. A deadly crime affecting journalists who were just trying to do their jobs. I'm sad to say I was not terribly surprised. David Greer has worked in the media for more than three decades. He says people have been attracted to news outlets for years, making threats after believing they were wronged or something was unfairly published. Fortunately, most of those individuals are just talking hot air, but it only takes one. And that one now has the Capital Gazette mourning the loss of five employees. Rick Childress is a UK journalism student. When he heard about the shooting yesterday, he hoped it wasn't a targeted attack. I think I'd kind of hoped that that it wasn't um, a shooting against journalism. Although it's disheartening, he says this situation doesn't take away his passion for storytelling. Yeah, I think I'm definitely still committed to being a journalist and that this is the career that I want to pursue. The KPA says these threats are nothing new to journalists, but news outlets can be actively working to increase building security. We're covering the news in Frankfurt from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. A Lexington Magazine writer actually once worked at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis, Maryland. She declined an interview with us, but she did tell us she is devastated by the slaughter at the Annapolis Capitol, where she began her career many years ago.